This is Ryan from ANR Fixing Gaming, and today we're going to be having a tutorial on how to make a Swoosh logo on Adobe Illustrator. So first, to start out, what you're going to want to do is create a new document. Once it loads up here, you're going to want an 8.5 by 11, or whatever size that would um, tend to your needs. So, let me do that here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new um, ellipse. So you're going to do that by clicking on where the rectangle is. And by the way, this is for Adobe CS6 and Creative Cloud. So um, the menus might be different in CS5. I haven't used CS5 personally. So you can bring out another menu like this. Use the ellipse tool. You want to hold down Control and or shift and drag out that'll make a perfect circle see how you can't you can't mess it up so you can make that however much you want and then you're going to use the black mouse tool you're going to click the center you're going to do control c and then control f and that's going to copy it and make two so once you're done with this you want to drag this second circle so that it's about here to the first circle. I'll color in the first circle so that you can see the difference. And then you're going to click on that circle with your black select tool. You're going to go to object, path, and then you're going to do divide objects below. And then that white circle will disappear and then there will be one like a moon shape and then there'll be about a whatever you want to, I'd call that uh, like a eighth, a waxing gibbous moon shape kind of. So you delete that and then you want a square tool or a, a rounded edge square tool. So you use your rectangle or square you delete however much you want of the top so about to there and then you do the same object path divide objects below and then you use your black select tool and select the top half and then you can delete that. So once you have this you want to go to your rotate tool and rotate this about to here and like before we showed you how to copy and paste so you use your black select tool and you control F control C and then control F and then you drag it to about here and then you do control F again then you drag it to about there and then you control F however many you want and then we're going to be using here the layers tool but that'll come in a couple minutes so you want another square and you want to drag it over the top here and you want to do divide objects below again there's a lot of dividing of the ob objects below in this project and then you want your white select tool you're gonna select these top parts and delete them and this is the start to your um, swish logo so next what you want to do is you want to um, you want to arrange it so that this is front, this is second, next, and last. So you do that by in the path the highlighted with the square next to it that's the current selection. So you want to drag this the first one that you select all the way to the top and the second one you want to drag below that and then the third one you want to drag below that and then the fourth one should be anywhere below that and as you can see here using the zoom tool it's it's layered so that it is all um, it looks three-dimensional so now what you want to do is you need you want to use this tool and you want to select whichever one you want to start with and you want to go up here to your color palette tool and choose a color in any of these selections 
Um, personally, for this one, I'm going to choose yellow. And then for this one, I'll choose red. And then for this one, I'll do green, like lightish green. And then for this one, you can use the any of the you can use a gradient tool if you'd like to also to um, arrange a radial gradient and um, to do that you click radial and then you click over here on the gradient tool and it'll it'll give you this radial gradients tool and it'll and then it'll change as you update like this so if you wanted it however you want it to be radial gradient um, but I'm just gonna choose a solid solid color because I think that looks the best I'm gonna choose blue and then you use your white select tool and you select them all you select the whole project you use your black select tool you select the whole project and then here where it says where it has the outline you click the white box with the red line through it so that they're independent shapes instead of um, other shapes unlike that. So you're, you're going to want to make a copy of this. You do Command, Control C and Control F. If you're using Mac, it's Command C and Command F. Um, and then each one of these you're going to drag out. As this is the front one, you're going to want each of these to be behind that front one. So this one is sticking up a little bit here. So you're going to drag it up. And then you're going to use the eraser tool and erase the end here. Until it looks about like that. Then you move it back in line with the others how it was. Now we have none sticking up here and the top is totally um, straight. So once you select the whole thing, you can drag it over. And if you would like to, however you want your um, rotation to be, you could have it like this or you could have it like that. I just leave it like this, about like that. Um, and you add text if for whatever if you have a company or a family like you could put this like on a family reunion paper invitation personal right now I'm gonna do um, PC TechSmart which is my company that I run um, it's homebrew so I'm gonna do PC Tech and then um, you have your select tool you can move it around you click on the letters and move it around and up here this is how you edit your font your font size 36 is my preference and you can choose whatever font you would like um, for PC TechSmart our logo I usually use this one it depends on what what time I'm using the logo for and where the logo is for so you can make this I would make it straight like this and then you select this below you make this text box smaller you select this below and you rotate that if you'd like it straight and you'll you'll know because with Adobe Illustrator there's anchor points and there's this little um, white text box that's telling me my positives and negatives so as you can see I'm at negative 48 degrees and then so you want to get as close to zero as you can and this is your focal point right here your reference point that's a path so you're gonna have a straight line between that and your path between the and you can see this line is kinda blurred so once that line is not blurred and the um, path line is straight, then you can use the select tool and move the whole thing, move this whole thing up closer to the logo 
until you get that green line is about right. So th this was how to make a logo with Adobe Illustrator, a wave logo. Um, you can use this to the best of your ability. You can make different colors. This is just how mine is. Um, you can add like a little like saying down here, like whatever you'd like to say. Um, and so that's it. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe below. Um, we should be having giveaways sometime soon. And that should be it. Thank you.